Oakland Raiders. And also, uh, I know John Gruden is the head coach of the Oakland Raiders. When I was when I was growing up, I was a big John Gruden fan. And and then since since nineteen ninety eight. I remember back in the old days, uh, my dad, uh, he lived those glory days at the Raiders. I didn't. So, but I, but I learned a lot from my father. And then that was, that was maybe before my time. Um, my dad was still back then. But I do know um, when I was growing up, I've, my sister was born in Seattle, so we moved to Seattle for 12 years, but I was born here, I was born here, California, but then we moved back to California in 97, I didn't have a team beautiful, so in 98, when Tom Gruden came in, now I'm happy, because I had a team that I really, really like. He's very supportive. Um, he's passionate about football. Through those good years and bad years, um, and I beat through them, you know. And those are my favorite years. I love the most. And those years when he was around, I see what he does, and that inspired me because. I am best Libyan, best of Libyan who has down since long, living in Concord area. And when I was, was growing up, and I was in John over the years, on TV, um, and those, those days were, were done. But when I was growing up, I was John Grinnan, he was the perfect fit to the Oakland Raiders. He was. Yeah, I know at the end, didn't even go as a way he, he wanted. But he is, well, I think he is. He is a, he is a winning coach. Al Davis, when he was, uh, no offense, I know there's a lot of, uh, um, and I know mean, there's a lot of, uh, he hated Raider fans out there, he hated fans for all different reasons, but you got to respect the legacy that, that built. You know, the legacy started back when, when, yeah, John Madden and Ken Stabler. And I am, I, I heard this correctly about they are learning how to win. John Madden, Ken Stabler beat the yards in 1977, went all the way and won. The Super Bowl eleven, and I was, and I was happy. I was, but I wasn't born during his during his time. No, my my dad lived. He lived the glory days. Al Davis, yeah, he died. But he, but he, the glory days that he was that he wanted. That happened. He lived it. He lived all, he lived it. He, he, he lived it all and put the heart and the soul on this franchise that he built. And I know he's dead and all, but I know, I, I know that you know, not everyone likes L. Davis, but, but I do respect the legacy that was part of it. And I remember what Al Davis used to say, he said a lot of things before he died. 
one of the minutes that he said, I wanted a, a head coach who can teach us the will to win. And, and all the coaches who have gone to be through all of this, be through over the years. John Madden was one. He, that was excellent game, no doubt. That was Super Bowl eleven. Yeah, Ken Saber did die as a team. I do respect Ken Stabler for, for making history. I'm really proud of him. Now we be the end. Um, cause my dad's a big Stabler fan. Ken Stabler fan. And um, when I see it, well, I watched it on DVD, but I wasn't born on it, so I got that DVD, so I watched it on DVD. And I see some great players. Reedy Brown, he came in to help us out, and he did, did, and he did. And he became a true legend. Ken Stabler, he died in 15, but he's a legend in his own right to be a legend. That is a moment. Every year, every Super Bowl, the always players that go through of the day's legends. For the Raiders, I respect all the legends of the Raiders. Tim Blackett, um, Tim Blackett did, Ken Stabler did, two times for Tim Blackett. One time I can't stay better. And I recognize because uh, I'm here because I care for the Raiders. I know I know there's people were noticing yes, Mark Davis is the son of L Davis. He his Mark Davis wants his dad's dream to continue. <clears throat> and that really means a lot. He really, really is. He is trying his best. Do his best. I know not everybody agree with, with, with the Davis family, but I do. Um, God rest my soul on that one. But for Don Quinn, I was growing up, when I was a, I mean, best of all, I'd be an athlete, living in, and living my life. Until 98, Don Gruden was the perfect teacher for the Raiders. He is. Let me tell you why he's a perfect teacher. The Raiders are the old school franchise that was made in the 60s. And... Tom Cronin was an old school head coach of the mid 90s. Well, 1998 time frame. And during his debut, he brought in the CB. Everybody loved, that's right. Number 24, Charles Wilson. Charles Wilson was a man. He's a, and I see all his incredible plays that he be a belt when he was a, a Raider, when he was playing for the Raiders back then. It dominated. Green was a, was a golden. He was a golden. You know what I say? Gold. He, he's a golden. Golden. Yeah. So I don't know how to spell it. Golden. There we go. Got it right. But, and he was so good, because he's a guy that I really like, because he's a guy, he was a reading coach, he, he grew up with the system, he knows all the players and the coaches, and the, he knows every single one of the plays. That's incredible for a head coach. And now, Years and years later, he came back after the tag war match that, that shouldn't be happening. Should happen. 
shouldn't happen, but it did. Don Gruden lived his dream. Oh, but Al Davis, he lived his dream and he died. He died the Raiders have hope. And Mark Davis is trying to bring back Don Gruden. He didn't bring me back Don Gruden for the wrong reasons. No, he bring back Don Gruden back to the Raiders because he was because he was a hope. And and he was Don Gruden was the final hope for the Raiders. Just because he knew he knew where he was in nineteen ninety eight. He built the he, he built this great team, a winning team that was changed all the level. And I respect that from him. And he did that so well. And got all the white players, this is that and you know, they are winning games, I was happy for a change and Washington, he was the worst and only the, the perfect teacher. You know, all they just say that in, in the beginning, he said, I wanted a coach you can teach the Raiders. Teach, teach the Raiders to well to win. And they are. You just learning how to win. You're learning how to win. And and that teacher for the Oakland Raiders is John Gruden. He's the one who put it all together in 1998. Brought in Charles Wilson because he knew he knew the Raiders lead. I remember what he said in 2001. He just said this. He wants to win. I remember what he said this. The Raiders a long time ago. He said, Can we win a championship? Marshall Lynch. You got your answer. And everybody wants to figure out how good he be in mass, John Gruden. Talk about Jim Harbaugh, and he came from, from Stanford. And from Stanford to the 49ers, and then from the 49ers back to Michigan. You know, his, every coach who to try to be like John is not actually is John. John Gruden himself was and always will be the perfect teacher for the Oakland Raiders. And Al Davis, the owner, at the time when he was alive, you know what he said? He wants John Gruden to, to build a team, to, to build this team into a reading franchise. And he did. And I'm proud. That he did that, and I, and I lived it. I lived it. I know I'm not allowed to talk because that's the book of ways. I know it's against the rules, but hey, you know, I don't know all the rules. But I knew all this. I respect the owners, I respect the coaches, you know, all of these. Like my dad, he was always will be a Raider fan. He was a Raider fan, but he, he's not loyal, but he is a Raider fan. It doesn't mean loyal to something from your heart. The greatness, the, the, the return to greatness, it doesn't mean we didn't lose every game. No. It doesn't mean that. And we have been. All Davis created this. He created his life. The way it is built into a winning team. And John Cruton would teach to call and his team, the Raiders, to all level. 
he's the one who make Wish Gannon MVP compatible back in 1999 through 2001 and see how he evolved and he did. And you have a young quarterback like Derek Carr. Let me tell you about Derek Carr. Derek Carr, he has a blonde knife with his uncle. Long history. And his uncle played for the Raiders. But he did play with a famous quarterback all the time, Cass Stabler. He did for about a year. So just maybe, just maybe, that Jerry Carr is a final hope for this team. It, it, runs in his, it runs in his blood. He doesn't know it. But he will understand. When, 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 when it's time, I remember we were back in the old days, back in the 67, when he, when Ken Stewart came in. It's a man. Yeah, he was struggling, like, he was struggling. John Madden and Ken Stewart, they were struggling. It was people were saying back then from my time, I, mean, I wasn't born then, but they heard things. Um, saying that uh, someday Ken Stewart will win a big one. We thought, right? And... What that means is, no, people are saying the Raiders never won a big one in six years, because you never won a, a championship for six years. But guess what? 1977, he had his chance, and he won it. So, so, so just maybe, just maybe that you call can can make a difference. If Ken Saber has struggled, if I took Carl's struggle last season, it, it's possible for Derek Carl to win a big one. That time will come. But a teacher will teach Derek Carl his way to be in a great game of his life. Yeah, he has a, he, a perfect quarterback and by leash. But to respect the Raiders. I trust Rayfield. I am a I am a down system who also a best Olympian athlete who cares for the future of the Oakland Raiders. And I know I'm not allowed to talk on behalf of the Raiders, I know there's wars and like that, but let me tell you something about Al Davis. Al Davis, he lived his dream and he did that with pride. Yeah, there's war, yeah. Back in the 60s, it was war, it was politics, it was lawsuits, and, but they got it done on the field, like that, yeah, I know he has some issues, I know his enemies off the, off the field, but he has to respect his team that he built into, but you know what, Mark Davis, the owner of Oakland now is taking over for his father. That's a big step. And he did that with pride. If he can live his glory, if I was getting live his, his glory days, maybe Mark Davis can live his glory days. If John Gruden has a help. John, he wanted John Gruden back for six years. He wanted him back. Because he wanted the Raiders to show, oh, we're not the 
We knew we didn't need it. We knew we didn't need Oakland. We knew they didn't go to Vegas. All that. Yeah, they did pass that. Now. It's time to understand what's going on here. All the things that we have gone through from pain to glory. I'm going to see the H word is kind of inappropriate for me to say it. But you know what I mean. And know what? I will say this to all YouTubers. And to, to do a call, I know she's watching YouTube right now. But I know she's back, she can stop grinning, she's gonna make him the best quarterback as possible he can. Yes. He's trying his best he can to show how much that he's worthy enough. He shows his worthy. You know why I know that? Last year, yeah he, yeah, he lost to Dallas, Texas. Dallas Cowboys. But he, the only thing that he really, really, really know of, when he beat, when, when, yeah, he didn't beat Dallas Cowboys. No, that's very really sad that they didn't get in the playoffs. But I do respect the Seals. The Seals been since LA for an eternity. Yeah. But you know what? It's not the end for the Raiders. It really is not. Yeah, but yes, everybody's mad at the Raiders because they're moving again. You know, from the old days, from 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 Oakland to from Oakland to LA, that was disaster. But I mean, but it's good. It's good in that because now. Now we have a new people coming in. Chuck Woods, he's a way to fan. That's the age from LA. We know Ice Cube from LA. And I do know Scoop Dog is also a fan of Ice Cube. Dr. Trey, uh, Easy A, uh, oh yeah, Mr. T, those guys. They created the NWA. And when they get in the way, that was a perfect mess. Yes, the city of Raps. Well, I know it's all in New York City, but you know what I mean. Yes. So I scoop big red fence since 1982. I could eat that way. I could eat that. That way from him. He's a good actor. There was movies that he made. I have them. Well, not, not all of them, but a good song. And I like his music, so I follow him. I follow his music a little bit. I said, I'm a spot of feet, but not there already. Um, but do you know this? I do respect the Eagles because we all smell and the best place of battle and how it all began and all that. I was back with Ross Smith. Ross Smith is one of the best actors. When he was on the first place of battle, he, he got the funny bone. And I had to say something that he did. Yeah, I know some of the very few moments, but I don't want to go that far. And that's very helpful for him. But... But I do understand this. Yes, I know. Tell me, I know. Um, uh, Will Smith's uh, cousin, uh, Alice, uh, Alice, the actually Banks, in the show. Um, I mean, remember what he said. She said to Will Smith in episode one. Season one, episode one, when he when actually met Will Smith, and you know what he said? My rapping cousin. And he, and he, and he a father 
what Ashley Banks said. As he did. The, the actor plays Ashley Banks, Tyler Hara Hari. Now, when she was growing up in the show, she made some new music videos, well, new music things on the show. Oh, maybe she is ready to be a good singer someday in the, in the future. And she did. She finally sang the Who I Am, Who I Am I, with Bill Smith. I heard that from her. That was excellent, you know. But my favorite one the most is, I know, I know, I, Babu, Rubio Albaso, the guy who plays Carlton Banks. He's funny for a lot of ways, and I know he's a, I don't want to say it, but I do know, but I do know this. Easy guy. Um, I know everybody hates, you know, he hates this the most, but he, but he did create it because of death. <laughs> A little bit of Michael Jackson, a little bit of something else. It was funny, and he did it in a good way. And I respect that from him, and that's excellent from him. And I have my respect, and I found out thanks to that, I found him on Instagram, and I hope he can understand who I am. Um, but let me tell you something. Did you have a call? Did you have a call? I'm talking directly to you. I always say this. I'd love to meet you someday in the, in the future. I'd love, to, I'd love to meet you. And John, if it's not so busy with football, <laughs> that's a, a little bit challenging, but I mean, it's about that. Um, but let me tell you something, Dirk. John Gwynn? Yeah. Yes. He understands football. He knows the football since we first came into the race in 1998. When you were growing up, when you were a kid, and you were winning for Dallas Cowboys back then, Don Gruden came to the Raiders in 1998. He dominated. He showed old David that he's worthy, and he did. He showed it to him. And guess who lived it? I lived it. Now it's your turn to live Tom Cruise's Yeah, when he was young, he made a lot of great plays. Yes. So if you want to to learn more, I know you say you love to win. Tom Cooney loves to win. Oh, Davis, he died. He died in vain. But he but he lived his glory days. And he and he's proud of it. And you know what? Those future days is not the the old winners is over. That was a two decade team back then. Now and now you guys are all not learning how to win. Now you got the coach back the, the golden boy. No offense to Don. And he is a holy grail who put it all together since 1998. That's, you want to know why Mark Terry's brought him back? Because he is the guy who put it all together in 1998. He knows he should do it again. We right. we really show my respect to Don. The most. But you know what, Dirk, do a call. 
I don't need a lot from you. You have my respect. That's all that matters. I am the best Olympian who is also willing to be a player in the Best Olympics. But you are learning how to win. You're not doing it for a lot of reasons. You're doing because you have a family to look out there for. I know you had a son and a wife to provide them with if, if everything that you wanted. I'm sorry about your brother, David Carl. I'm sorry how I went down with him with Houston, Texas. But you know what? I respect the Carl family. That's all that matters to me. And someday in the future, if you watch this live, I would say this. Thank you. I know why you want to do help children. Because you want to do what's best for all the, all the children of the world. Because you, you have your own son. And now you understand what it means. You know what I, I like about you, t- you took? You, you you love all the children and you give them love and respect and support. Me, same thing. And speaking of that, I'm not allowed to say my religion beliefs, but I also have faith and love to my friends, family, and, and I also like NFL and college football. And I had two big teams in college. Num- number number one. Actually, number two favorite is Stanford. It's my uncle. But, num- but number one favorite is Fresno State Bulldogs. I I like the Bulldogs. I really, really do. But I know I, I'm a Stanford fan, but I do respect the first when I say Bulldogs. You want to know why I respect them? Because you two play for Bulldogs. You know, understand the, you got to understand the game. Now it's, like, it's a real test. It's a real test, Dirk. And you pass beautifully. And now what? At Duke, I mean, that's the one when you were about like 11 years old, or years old, whatever, you, you, when you were wrong, when you were a kid. Uh, you know, you see me uh, game with Tom Brady and Milton Raiders. And Tom Brady's dynasty began. His dynasty to win a career of Tom Brady really. That's not right. I, I'm not allowed to talk on behalf of the game. But I understand how serious that means to me. I had my chance some years ago because the Best Olympics uh, did a TV commercial with the Oakland Raiders. And I did that 12 years ago. And I have evidence. I got the um, football signed by the name Griffin right here. I have a football sign by Lane Gutierrez from Lane Griffin. And I have the picture of him too, with all the coaches. But guess what? There's only one coach. I always back all the coaches of all the ladies that they hired. But you know what? My favorite coach of, of all time, 
I like the matter, yes, the matter is a great coach. I respect John Madden. He's not a great coach, not in games. Uh, Madden, all five, and all the way to 16. Let me get more on PS4 soon. But, but, you know what? I was bet all the lessons who made this possible. Gas Stabler and John Madden, they created a dynasty that started in Super Bowl eleven. This is all Jerry's dream. He died in pain. Yeah, I know. You want to be his victim love. But you know what? He made his choice. Not trying to make ours. But Mark Davis. To him. I promise, Mark, you will have your being advanced as again. And I know what? Stuff that. I do understand the game a little bit. Because my, my dad, because my dad, and, and I've been watching really since. I've been watching really games since 1998 when John Gruden came in. And I did it. I did. I, I wasn't born during the glory days. No, I wasn't born then. But that was. I respect my father the most. And to my friends. I'm, I know I didn't take advantage of the fan, but I was like, I don't see that out loud. But. Oh, it's like. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, scratch that that spot. Um, but I do know this. I respect all the little players who played and tried his and tried their best for the fans. Carl Oakland. It started with L. Davis in 1963. He was to end with it. In Oakland, before they moved to Vegas, they be be fair to Chloe. Raiders, are you ready for Chloe? Cause I am. Cause I'm gonna talk Green and back, and now we got the angry running back and but a love that's why my son is a k a beast mode and for my son is, we believe in you beast mode we believe but being part of being a team and nobody ever played is you guys you guys are the most feared then the love and you know, the hated and fear team that yeah, call you guys my waiters. I remember what they said, if you love the old waiters so much and go out there and win. And you know what they call? They don't do it to me. they don't do it. You want to do it for me? Do it for your uncle. And do it for your family. And your, and your son. And I promise you will have a whole lot better if you win a Super Bowl. And I believe in the glory. Are you? Because I am. But I have faith. As long as as long as Green is calling it the sauce, I promise you guys, Don Green will and, and his Raiders, Don Green and his Raiders 
Will find Tom Brady a two time when time ends when Tom Brady's retirement plans does happen. We'll be ready to, to hear from the NFL. It's not up to us, it's not up to the fans, it's up to him and, and his family. His dynasty lived on, but it started, his dynasty, John Bates' dynasty started with the Raiders. It would end with the Raiders. And I promise, the Raiders and the Wrigley one more time. I call this the perfect storm of the century. And, and by frankly, you guys, all the meanest fear of the more, you are. You go out and you show what you can, 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 can do. I see what you guys, I see what you guys do on defense. You get better on defense. And know what? John Gruden will, will teach you guys how to be great. Being called return to greatness right now. No thought return to greatness is not a from that. It's, it, it's not a from how you win championships. It's from your heart. When you the greatness, it's from your heart. Doug, you have a heart in the game. And I respect you the most. I'm proud to be a Raider fan. Thank you. This is my message to the Oakland Raiders. And all this, rest in peace. Your glory days is over. Not the, your, your winning franchise at this beginning. Peace.